My name is Ron and welcome to another Zero to Hero. We're going to start this one off by doing some Commander Siliana. This is my current kill count for the boss and all the loots that I've received. I have gained everything that you can get from this boss except for the Saradomen Hilt and the pet. So if I could get any of those that would be amazing. But of course an Omnidor Crossbow is also a lot of profit. And uh, this is now my character. I have bought insane gear for Siliana. Pretty much the best you can use except for a Twisted Bow of course. So it's going to be pretty nice to do this boss with this insane gear. Also, of course, before we before we start the video, I do have a Discord if you want to join that. The link to that is always at the top of the description. First, I guess, pretty significant drop. God Sword Shard 3, it's only 150k, but that is around, I think, 17 or 18 kills in. Yeah, 18 kills in. So uh, not that far into the killing just yet. Hopefully you can get something insane soon. Oh my god, wait. I actually got it. 263kc? That is on kc35 since I started. Saradomin Hilt. Oh my god. I only missed the pet now for the entire collection log. That is insane. That literally instantly gets my loot tab from 32.5 million to 73. 0.6 million. That is some insane profits we've already done in this video. 268kc looking at the collection log and the only thing I miss is the pet. It is so insane. It could be if I'm extremely lucky of course. Pretty close to my Criora log where I do have the pet but I also have 4 hilts so my god worst luck has been totally insane on this account. Finishing just everything except for the pet with 268kc is just nuts. I mean, this is a 1 in 512 drop rate. I think this is also a 1 in 512. This is a 1 in 128 maybe. So overall, just insane luck. Oh, not too bad. Second drop, Saradomin Sword, 396k. It's actually still worth a bit. I, I thought it would be like 100k, but uh, yeah, don't say no to that. The fuck? Three kills later? Armadillo crossbow? Really? 24 mil? I've done 50 kills in this video and I've got 65 mil. That's insane. Oh nice. Uh, God so short of a million. 150k. I am making so much money from this. I think this is going to be my number 9th ecumenical key I'm going to use on Siliana. And it is going to be my last one because I do think my KC is like 294 now. So I want to get over 300. So let's see what we can get on the last trip. That's the 300 KC done. But I do have some more supplies. So I'll probably end at like 303 or 302 or something. But uh, if I get no more drops, I will do something else in the next clip. As I'm feeling a bit lucky, I actually want to do some alchemical hydra. It was quite a while since I did it and I have 429 points. So I'm just going to skip a couple of tasks and if I get too low on points, I'm just going to do a couple of tasks. But uh, maybe I can get the hydra claw this time. It has dropped in price a bit. I'm going to check what the actual price of it is. It is right now 56 mil and it was like 76 or something. So it's dropped 20 mil since I did the hydra the last time. But getting a 56 mil drop is still very, very good. Are you kidding me? This is the luckiest video I've ever made. I'm serious. I killed one. Okay, I did three adamant dragons. I got another three adamant dragon task. Dragon limbs. Four kills from adamant dragons. Dragon limbs. That is insane. Rune dragons. Drop these at one in 800, which is what you would normally kill to get them. But uh, adamant dragons is one in 1k. So getting it on 4kc is pretty lucky. There we go, that took about 10 tasks I would say, 161 Hydras, I think that's a good amount, so let's see if we can get any luck from the Hydra boss. Wait, is this new? I've actually never seen this. Look, it says coins, lots, and that's when it's over a certain threshold. Is this, uh, it can't actually show more than that, so how much is it? 600k, oh 100k, so if you get double coin drop, I've never seen that before where it says loads. The luck continues, Hydra leather, 5 million after like 40 kills. Well, it didn't take too long. Not the best drop, but definitely don't say no to 5 mil. I think somehow the boss is a bit bugged right now. I'm not sure what happened that made it bugged, but uh, usually what happens is the fire comes up here in this phase and I can just walk the fire and this is how it's always been. So as soon as I see the animation, I walk here and I take no fire damage. But in the transition phase, after the three attacks, it is supposed to do a poison attack and uh, when that happens, it is put right here on this spot that I'm standing. And uh, you will see in 
three attacks. After after this one, it should do a poison attack, and I would normally have to move back, but see, nothing happened. So I can just stand here and kill it in the uh, last phase, which makes it very nice, but it's not supposed to do that. Okay, I've never seen this before. Two dragon medhelms in one drop. I mean, it's pretty decent alkyballs, but uh, otherwise not too great. Meanwhile, I was doing the Hydra, the Trade Blazer reward shop opened and I bought all my rewards and I'm actually just going to put all the Trade Blazer outfits up for uh, like 1 million per piece or something like that. It's probably like the tier 2 and stuff like that is not going to sell for that much, but I'm just going to put all the items up and uh, during the video I will just update you guys on what sells. Put all the tier 2 in for 1 mil and then I put in all the tier 3 for 2 mil and the chest actually instantly sold and it sold for 3.2 million. So pretty decent money there and I'm going to put in the uh, Trailblazer tool ornament kit for like 2 mil and see if that sells. And it doesn't sell just yet, but uh, we will hopefully see if it does sell. Almost done with my alchemical hydro task, but I did sell my Trailblazer top tier 2 for 1 million, so that is pretty decent money. Had to go back to the GE because I was out of food. That's the task done, 161 hydros killed, let's see what the last loot's going to be. Oh actually Onyx Bolts, that's a 300k drop. But um, I'm going to quickly show you guys the loot because uh, this is a very very long task and I did get a Hydra Leather which is like 5.4 million right now. But um, it took me 8 hours to do this task and that includes obviously banking and um, I took every kill as like a 3 minute kill because... Um, 161 kills every 3 minutes I get a kill because I have to bank uh, now and then like every 10 or 11 kill. So sounds about right and that is 8 hours and that is a total of 24 million GP profit. And um, if you uh, divide that by 8 that means I made around 3.4 million an hour which is very good. So even if you don't get very lucky, I mean I got a Hydra Leather but it's only 5 million so it's not the most valuable one. It is still like 3 million an hour which is very profitable. Actually yesterday Soul Wars was released into old school RuneScape and there is something I want to try out and see what actually happens if you buy this. I want to buy the Spoils of War, it's only 30 tokens. So I'm going to do a couple of Soul Wars games, see what's in these boxes and see if it's potential profits. Look at the amount of people that's doing Soul Wars now, it is actually insane. I should pick out the spec weapon as well, probably going to go with uh, a god sword or something. It was actually such a long time since I did Soul Wars and I do not remember it being this easy to get seals. 21 seals for one game. To be honest, I actually thought it would be like 3 on a victory and like 1 on a loss and 1 on a draw or something. But uh, 21, that makes it very easy. This seems like kind of crazy for experience to be honest because it's almost 400 experience per token so that would be like 800 experience. And of course it's less in prayer, but uh, I can imagine it being pretty good for like ultimate Iron Man for prayer. But um, yeah, getting all these spoils of war is going to be pretty easy. So I can actually get probably like a full inventory of them or close to it at least. I just got the most points I've got in one game. Look at this. You've earned 55 seal. You now have 350. And uh, I have lost most of my games, but 55 in one game is insane. I usually get like 20. And that's on a good loss, and on a win I get like 30, so 55 is insane. How I did that was, I just killed monsters and turned in the uh, the things, the soul fragments that you get into the pillar in the middle. And uh, you basically reduce the uh, armor on the boss, and that gives you a lot of points. This is actually insane, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, or if there's like a clan chat that you can join, that pretty much is like a pre-made that joins one team and he calls out which one is probably going to win. I'm just going into the balance portal and getting a random team every time, and I'm not kidding, I'm losing like every single game. I have 549 seals right now, so I'm still getting decent seals on losses, but look at this. I have 28 games played and 5 wins. That's like 5 wins and 23 losses. So uh, I could be getting way more seals if I was winning more than losing. Uh, because this has not taken that long of a time. I got 8 at that time which was really bad. But most time on losses I get like 20. So this is where I'm going to stop. 627 seal tokens. If I got 3 more I could have got 1 more. But I think 20 overall boxes is going to be good enough anyways. And this in terms of experience on like hit points, strength, attack, 
all that would be like 220,000, maybe a bit more than that. So that is some insane experience, because you actually do get experience inside of the minigame as well. So I'm not sure how good this would be for grinding experience, but for prayer for example, this would be like 80,000, right? I think it would be around 80,000. So for ultimate Iron Man, as I said in the beginning, this could be really good. And uh, for imbues, I actually don't know how many seals they would cost. And then for the other things, Ectoplasmator. I am going to get this on my account. Not right now, because now I want to buy the Spoils of War. But I do want to get this, because I think this is like a Bone Crusher, but for ghosts. So you can use this for Aberrant Spectres. You can use this for... What can you use this other for? Like, I think you can actually use this for uh, Black Demons on their Ashes and stuff like that. So that is really nice. But let's buy the Spoils of War. I really have to buy one each time. Wow, okay, I'll get back to you guys when I have all 20. There we go, 20 crates. Let's see what they're going to contain. By the way, uh, you can actually get a pet from this. I would assume it's 1 in 1000. It says very rare on the uh, wiki. And I think very rare is up to 1k. So yeah, you can actually probably get a pet in 1 in 1k drop rate here. Because that is the Barbarian Assault drop rate as well. And I would assume it's the same. But let's start opening. And there is the small chance of getting the pet. Which is also always exciting. So let's see what we get from these. That is a terrible box. I hope all of these are not as bad as that one. Next one. Oh, 125 blood runes. Maybe a bit more valuable that one. Soul runes, raw shark and coins. I'm thinking how good this is going to be for Iron Man, for example. That's a lot of coins. Double coins drop. That's interesting. So far it's looking kind of like the Winter Toad crate. So nothing too insane just yet. Raw Swordfish, death, double death runes, that is probably worth quite a lot. Let me actually check how much just the death runes from that one was. 70k from one box at least, that is not too bad actually. Some coal coins, blood runes, you seem to be getting quite a lot of runes and raw food. So, Uncut Diamond 15, good crafting experience for Iron Man. Snapdragon Seed, that was a very good one I would say. Prune Plate Body? Wait, did I just get bones? I got one bones, that is. <laughs> That's actually kind of a funny reward. Wait, what? Did it just cancel my opening? Okay, well, unlucky. Loop half of a key, more coins, soul runes, coins, soul runes. A lot of runes, as I said. One soul rune. That is... That is quite the troll reward. Nature runes. And uncut rubies, 18. That's good crafting experience, as I said. So far, it's not looking too good, these rewards. Uh, one cabbage. That's the best reward so far. I'm going to put that down here just to uh, make sure we all know that it's there. One more cabbage. These are the best rolls I've ever seen. Another, and bones, and coal, and uh, coins. So let's have a look at how much money I made from 20 boxes, spoils of war. I made 1.1 million, which is actually more than I anticipated. What is the most money coming from. I guess the runes, like blood runes, soul runes, death runes, the pure coins, raw sharks for actually 114k. So if if we round this to like 1.1 million and I had 20 crates, that is, uh, how much is that? Like 50k per crate? I think it should be something around that. Like 55k per crate. Which is not that good, but it's also not terrible, because in if you win a game and you collected quite a lot of those, um, uh, f what are they called? The, the things you put, soul fragments, the things you put into the obelisk, you can actually get like 60 points on a win. And that means that you could get like 100 cash, 100k cash on one game. Which, uh, I mean, now that I think about it, it's probably not great. Uh, because <laughs> you can do like 3 or 4 games an hour. And uh, yeah, that's like 300k an hour. So yeah, not the best, but uh, interesting rewards nonetheless. Fun to do the test thing, but I'm going to get the Ectoplasmator now. There we go, I just bought the Ectoplasmator for 250 tokens. And what this does is it gives a small amount of prayer experience when you kill ghastly creatures, as I said. So that is going to be very nice on my future Slayer tasks. So before I started doing Soul Wars, I did put up all of these items, as I said. But they are just not selling, so I just put them in for lower amounts and they sold, so 200k only for the boots. These items are not actually nearly as valuable as the uh, Twisted League ones, because you got so much more points in this league. So 
it is still good money. Like I'm getting 1.2 million, for example, for the tier three head. The cane went for 1.9 mil, so that's a lot of money. The banner goes for 200k. So if we just look at the history here, I mean, we made 6 million right there. Also, I am trying to sell the graceful uh, ornament kit here. And I tried selling it for like a 1 mil and it wouldn't sell, but uh, maybe 900k. I thought this would be very valuable, but apparently it doesn't seem to be. So uh, 900k is still not selling and it's going for 2 million on the GE price. But uh, probably going to make like maybe an overall of 10 mil from uh, all of these items. So before I end the video, I just finished selling all the small stuff from my loot tab and that equals up to 44 million in cash. But then we also have the big items, or this one is not that big, but let's see what they sell for. The more valuable items, 1.5 mil for the dragon limbs. The lead leather is 5.3 mil, hopefully sells for that amount as well, yeah pretty much. Then we have the two last items, which are the big ones. Let's uh, just put this up for 28 million and see if it sells. It does 31 mil. Wow, that is actually worth a lot more. It's going up in price. I wonder why. Maybe it's because of Soul Wars, because I saw a lot of people with the Armadillo crossbow in the Soul Wars game. So let's try this in for 40 million. And hopefully it insta sells. It doesn't. So let's just put it in for like 38 or something and it should instantly sell. So let's do that and see how much my cash pile is going to be. 38.1 mil. So that's sold a bit below the price. So I guess it equals out. But that is a 120 mil cash pile. And uh, that is insane profits. I mean, I didn't make all of this in this video. But I would say about 80 million. Um, and the rest of it comes from my other videos of Solra and all of that PVMing I did. But this is now my loot tab being empty and a big cash pile to end the video on. But that is going to do it for this video. My current bank value is right now 569 million, which is a bit more than halfway to the Twisted Bow, which is what I want for the Inferno. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Also, I do have a Discord if you want to join that. A link to that is always at the top of the description. And other than that, have a good one, guys. Take care.